WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently we have all the U.S. indices that we track along with all the sectors with inside the S&P 500 trading to the upside. The Dow is up 180 points. It's about a half a percent, seven-tenths for the S&P, or 28 points, nine-tenths for the NASDAQ 100, 110 points there, and about eight-tenths for the Russell. That's 14 points to the upside. You got trannies up 2%. Some eyes are up 1% or 27 points. Gold's trading up five bucks. Silver's up 19 cents. Slice we crude back 70 pennies. Natural gas is up eight cents to the 30 year treasury. Printed out at 124.08. That is up 12 ticks. Let's go try to figure out what all that means out here by taking a look at that nine panel market update chart. We begin in the upper left hand corner. You've got the ES mini. You'll see a new profile that is attempting to form. We're using Stevie's advanced Doppler tool here. We will not have confirmation of this profile till this evening, but right now, as of 11 a.m., we know our buyers and sellers are lined up. The buyers are down at the 30. 969 level and the sellers are up at 4058. If we take a look at spot volatility, so far it has tested and rejected its 50 day exponential moving average. If you're a bull, you want to see more rally, then what you really want to see is that spot volatility close the day below 2081. If it doesn't, it's always danger to the upside. If we take a look at the NQ out here, what did it do on Friday? It tested support. And that was the bottom of its bullish structured profile. The support range for the NQ is between 11,975 and 12,083. So that level is held. If, in fact, we get a close above 12,083 today, we should see it move all the way back up to the top of that profile. And that's at the 12,408 level. Take a look at the U.S. dollar index. Today will form or should form bar number nine of a TD nine count. That says the U.S. dollar index should top between today and tomorrow. A higher high can form tomorrow and still maintain that pattern. Goldilocks on Friday completed a TD nine count bottom. Now, if, in fact, price closes below 18, 15, 50 on a daily basis, it'll negate that signal and suggest lower price. That may even say or suggest to us that the U.S. dollar index will negate its TD9 count top. One step at a time. Right now, what we know is we do have a confirmed bottom inside of Goldilocks as of Friday. If you take a look at silver, no confirmed bottom. It's trading right now below a swing point from back in uh, November of last year. It really looks like silver wants lower price. If we take a look at lights recruit, just a consolidation with inside its daily profile. That range is between 80, I'm sorry, 7440 and 7924. And natural gas, a nice rally but running right into the resistance area of its bearish structured profile. The opposite of what we saw inside the NQ out there, but it needs to close above 270, even Steven, to get its mojo to the upside. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show, but if you're off to start your Monday, please have a magnificent one, and thanks so much for joining us. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care now.